It's like you're always a misfit. You can be in a room full of people, you're alone. Do you think that God made a mistake? Do you think that God would have, you know, made you be a, a girl if he thought you were supposed to be a boy? And I said, you know, I don't, I don't think God made any mistakes. I think I am exactly who I'm supposed to be. There's a very big part of me that's still, well, you're not as much of a man as, as this person who, you know, lifts weights all the time and can, fi can fix a car. They're supposed to be the provider and you're supposed to be like, okay, honey, and you know, it doesn't pan out for me that way at all. The boys all wanted to grow up to be firefighters and doctors and lawyers and professional sports stars. And the girls wanted to be ballerinas and princesses. And when it got to me, I raised my hand and said, I'm gonna be a boy. And she said, no, you're not. Even though I didn't have a word for it, I was certainly ashamed of who I was. I figured out early on that it was almost like a costume. I could put it on in the morning, put on whatever clothing was the correct presentation for that day, and then it would be an act. So I played girl really well. And trying so hard not to be found out for, for being gay, which would have meant being feminine. The first thing I did was make fake breasts and hips for myself out of out of rolled up clothing and you know socks and things and put them under my clothes and look at myself in the mirror. How long am I going to put this off? Am I going to put this off until I'm married, have kids, and snap? I was feeling really scared to tell my family. I was pretty sure that they were going to disown me. I'm, pr I'm kind of feminine. Is that a bad thing? And I always th thought of that as kind of a bad thing. You have a little boy and he's putting flowers in his hair. Let's celebrate that he likes flowers. It has to do with the way I interact with the world and how the world interacts with me. And looking in the mirror and actually seeing what I've always seen on the inside. I want to be seen as like a bold, courageous person that you don't want to mess with, you know, or you'll get messed up. You know, I would love to be that person deep down, but I know that's just not my makeup, that's just not who I am, that's just not my personality. You know, I've always been a very sensitive person and that's just, I can't. This is about self. It's about who I am. I am female. I am a woman. I have always been a woman. Before that, I was a girl. All pent up inside for all those years. It's, it's gender role definition that's really keeping all of us back. And it took me a long time to get that.